Human beings are social animals and human beings are greedy. So it's no wonder we have a lot of sayings about money. Many of these expressions still mean about what they used to mean. Ann Curzan would know she's the Dean of the College of Literature, Science and the Arts at the University of Michigan and a noted linguist. And Len Augsburger coordinates the Newman Numismatic Portal at Washington University in St. Louis. And yeah, what is numismatics? Numismatics is the study of coins, paper money, medals, and tokens. Interesting. Any perks? They have a lot of foreign coin words in Scrabble. Cool, and when you get a linguist and a numismatist together, your next move's obvious, right? What do you want me to say? Come on, we're gonna update old sayings into today's U.S. dollars. I don't think anyone's ever thought of this before. Well, giddy up, we're doing this thing starting with a penny for your thoughts. When someone is looking very thoughtful, we say, a penny for your thoughts. And it's a pretty old saying. The Oxford English Dictionary first cites this expression in 1535. Now, governments adjust or even change currencies over time time, so you need a way to compare. Len's using the cost of unskilled labor then and now. Oh, a day's worth of unskilled labor today is comparable to a day's worth of unskilled labor, you know, 2,000 years ago. So using that comparison, what's a penny for your thoughts worth today? In medieval England, a unskilled laborer might typically be paid one or two pennies per day. So in the U.S. today, you're probably making perhaps about $100 a day. So if two pennies for a day of labor then is about a hundred bucks now, that comes out to about $50 for a penny at that time. I don't know what's going through your head, but I don't hear many thoughts worth 50 bucks. This next one's similar. Penny wise, pound foolish, like the person who clips coupons, but then blows big bucks in Vegas. It shows up around the end of the 16th century. Okay, we know about the penny. Again, probably worth about $50. But what about that British pound at the back end? A pound was 240 pence, so that would be about $12,000. So the updated phrase, 50 bucks wise, $12,000 foolish. Wow, foolish is expensive. Finally, how about dollars to donuts? Dollars to donuts is a wonderful idiom for expressing one's confidence in what you're saying. Like, I bet dollars to donuts that it's gonna snow tomorrow. And its origin? Versions of this expression first show up in the 19th century in a publication called Texas Siftings. Texas in the 1800s? Len, you're up. A dollar at that point in time would have been the equivalent of $100 today. So the updated phrase, 100 bucks to a donut, you're wrong. Or am I just missing the point entirely? The key thing about idioms is that they mean what they mean. Hey, I'm just giving my two cents. Wait a minute. Updating the cost of quotes is what's the deal.